The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs is not just about having pets, it's also about curing them when they're sick. That's right, you can own your very own vet clinic and play as a vet yourself. Alas, please subscribe and let's jump into what you need to know to get started. Vet clinics are run and operated similarly to retail businesses in that you need to purchase a community lot marked as a vet clinic before you can operate it. There are three requirements for this, being a vet podium where your customers check in, a pet exam table, which I suggest getting a second one for your staff if you can afford it, and a bin, or five bins, because while cute, pets are messy AF, especially when they're sick. So messy, so much vomit, so much pee, so much everything. There are also recommended items, such as the surgery station, which is used to treat more complicated diseases. It's not essential at the start, but it's definitely worth investing in later. Additionally, a medicine crafting table to craft various vet-related medicines and treats, which can help you in your vet life, and also in making money and also the medicine vending machine which is where you can stock and sell the treats to make that money. We love simoleons. Once a vet lot is built and you've saved enough simoleons, you can purchase the vet clinic from the business tab or from your sims phone. Upon arrival, you'll need to transfer funds into your business. The game suggests 10,000 simoleons, but if you've got the equipment you need, then 5,000 is more than enough to cover your initial outgoing costs. Note that you can transfer funds into and out of your business at any stage, so don't stress if you over or under commit when it comes to how much you put in at the start. Money you put into your business will be used to pay employees, to buy anything in build mode while you're at your business, and it's also where all your profits will go. On your business panel, there will also be an area where you can manage and hire employees. While you can only hire one to start with, you can unlock an additional two employees through perk points, which we'll talk about later. As a general rule, you want at least one exam table per person working in your vet clinic. And yes, your own sim counts as a person too. So I suggest only hiring a second person once you have at least two exam tables. Staff are also judged on three skills, being the veterinarian skill, which affects how good they are at treating pets, their charisma skill, which will determine how good they are with customers, and finally, their handiness skill, which will help them with cleaning up the mess that pets leave behind. Again, so much mess. By default, hired staff will devote their time to treating pets and cleaning the clinic but through managing them, you can toggle these actions on and off, so you can have a staff only devoted to cleaning or a staff that only treats pets. If you want to help your staff improve, consider investing in training them. It'll cost a bit of money, but will see you with more competent employees who can serve your customers better. You'll also want to look at how satisfied they are in their job and engage with them to boost morale or offer them a pay rise when their skills become better. If their satisfaction gets too low, they may walk out on you, so it's best to stay on top of this. You'll also have a range of options for your business. The first is price markup, which will determine how much you charge for your services. If you need the money, I suggest making this at least 150% to start with. The next is advertising. This will increase foot traffic to your vet clinic. Now, this can be helpful once you have more staff, but early on it isn't necessary necessary because it can lead to too many patients. It's best not to have too many owners and their pets waiting around for too long in the waiting room because the pets will just vomit and pee on your floor repeatedly, constantly, and it will just take a lot of time for you to then clean it up. A hot tip is that if you find yourself being overwhelmed with foot traffic, you can click the vet podium to disallow new customers. Another option is supply quality, which is unlocked through purchasing the unlock supply quality perk. This can help you offer better services. You can also toggle your employee's uniform. While there are a few vet inspired presets you can use, you can also head into create a sim and make them wear whatever you like. Finally, on the bottom left, there's a little sale tag, which is where you can sell your store should you not be enjoying life running a vet. So you're all set up, but what does an actual day as a vet in The Sims look like? When you open your store, sick pets and their owners will flock in. Choosing to greet an owner or pet will see you yourself take them on as your patient and it will earn you 25 perk points. You'll then take the sick pet to the exam table and a little interface will appear on the top left. The first bar indicates the pet's stress level and you'll offer a better service if you can keep the bar low. If the bar starts off high or becomes high, you can calm or soothe the pet to lower it. You'll also see a number of blank bars. These are various symptoms to uncover. Click on the pet and start running tests. Tests will have a chance to uncover symptoms, but will make the stress bar creep up. Know that you can calm pets multiple times, so there's always a way to bring this back down. As you uncover more symptoms, 
various treatments will start to narrow down. A thumbs down will mean the treatment won't work, a question mark means it's unknown if it will work or not, and a thumbs up means it's the correct treatment option. If all symptoms have been uncovered, then a green thumbs up should be next to one of the treatment options, which you can use to cure the pet. Note that if you've uncovered all the symptoms and a green thumbs up isn't displaying on any of the treatments, they will require surgery. If you don't have the surgery station yet, you can treat them with the cone of shame, but the owners won't be happy about it and will leave you a worse review. If you do have the surgery station, then simply move the pet to it and perform the surgery. Sometimes performing surgery can have some pretty interesting results, but rest assured, if they come out rainbow or turn to a hedge, your sim will find a way to get it right in the end. After you've cured a pet, you'll automatically bill the owner and receive another 35 perk points. Note that if this doesn't happen for whatever reason, you can click on the owner to bill them. Every customer you and your staff serve will also leave a review that affects your staff rating. Your staff rating is an overall measure of how successful your vet clinic is, and a higher rating will attract more people to your clinic. As you cure more pets, your veterinarian skill will rise, and you'll also get a chunk of perk points per level you gain. You can use these to buy various perks for your store that will help make running the vet clinic that little bit easier. It's also worth noting that at the end of the day, you'll get a rundown of how your business went, including your profits and outgoing costs for staff, as well as an area you're excelling in and areas you can improve in. One key thing to look out for is ambience. If this is ever lacking, try adding more environment boosting objects to your vet clinic, from sculptures to artworks, as it's one of the easier ways to score points with your customers. Also, try clean up rubbish on the floor fast if you can. Alas, that's the basics to running a vet clinic in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. That would be 10 out of 10 amazing. And have an awesome day. See you later.